Good afternoon, good evening, good morning all around the globe. This is Pat Parent again from Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. I'm grateful, thankful, and blessed to be here again today. My topic today is family blessing. And that's in Proverb 1, 8 and 9. And it goes like this. My child, listen to your father's teaching and do not forget your mother's advice. Their teaching will be like flowers in your hair or a necklace around your neck. If someone were to take a group of people, all different ages and genders, and put them in a house and say, okay, you are family now, get along, and love each other. It would be incredibly difficult. It may even be a disaster. Thankfully, that it's not the way families are designed. Families are created by God. He designed each of us a certain way and thought very hard about which family we would belong to. Your family is your own personal training ground. It was given in love and it is to be treated with love. Go ahead and share the gifts that have been specifically chosen for you. A gift from God is always one to treasure, respect and take very good care of. God, thank you for each family member. I ask you, would you bless them richly today? When we are placed in a family, whether through birth or adoption, whether through blood, we are specifically chosen by God to be placed right where we are. Each person within the family is a gift. That's right. Your sisters who have borrowed things and never gives them back, or a little brother who teases you insanely are gifts from God. It's important to look at each member of your family as a gift from God. Each helps other grow. Maybe that annoying little brother was put there to help you with patience or a borrowing sister teaches us to be less selfish with other stuff. So God, you know where you want to take me and you know everything I need to walk through before I'm ready for you to take me there. Help me view my family as a blessing and not a nuisance. So I ask each of us, list each family member and write down at least one way they are gifts to you. You know, I believe in my heart that every person is a gift from God. Whether it's your sibling, your daughters, your sons, your grandchildren, a person you meet across the street. It doesn't matter, they're all gifts from God. And they're all blessings to be part of the family. Because being united as a family is amazing. And I know the gift that I was given with the family blessing of on passive has brought me closer and closer to a family that I never knew all around the globe. This is a true blessing. Because God, we are all each sisters and brothers and we need to be united as a family. 
doesn't matter who, where, what, color of skin, how they look, they all are true blessings and family. Because we are all child of God. And with that respect, it's a true blessing. And this is actually how On Passive was really built. Started with a vision of our CEO, Mr. Ash Mafara. Thank you, Mr. Ash Mafara, your family and all the tech team. Because without your vision, we wouldn't have this massive blessing of a family that I call family. Because we are 1,400,000 founders, but it is built with heart and it is a family blessing because we all, each and every one of us are looking towards blessing others to bring more family, change humanity, change poverty, starting at home. I can start in my own building with blessings and let them become family. And if I look outside the window in the winter, there are so many homeless that are walking the streets, carrying their blankets, if they have a blanket, or sometimes just a little shirt curling up by a heated register that blows out from the building. So as a family and as blessings, we are able to change these things and making changes for the better is what everyone is looking forward to with our platform Obless. It's a crowdfunding platform that gives 100% of the funds raised to the cause. But not only through Obless, but each and, excuse me, every one of us are able to bless somebody. And it can start today. We don't have to wait for a platform. Like this weekend, it's Thanksgiving day today, but all weekend is a blessing that we are able to pour out. On Saturday, I got together with my children and we didn't have the turkey dinner. We decided on pizza. And there was enough pizza left over that I brought some home and I was blessed by my children to be able to do this. And I took it to some neighbors here in the building to bless them with. And that's all it takes. Each and every one of us are able to bless somebody else. It doesn't have to be with money. It's better to give them food for their belly, water, to help them that way. Because sometimes um, sharing the funds without teaching them to fish isn't good. So if we can all teach someone, one person to start with, one family, one village, one province, one city, one country at a time, the world will reshape and repaint, as Mr. Ash Mafara says. It changes the world to a better place. And that's all we need to do. Excuse me one second, I have to let my daughter in. Excuse me. Sorry about that, I, my daughter's just bringing me a turkey dinner. And I'm praying that there's going to be enough to share with someone else today, which I know there is. So I'm grateful, thankful, and blessed, but I'm gonna jump off now because my daughter is here to spend a little bit of time with me. So everyone have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving day here in Canada. 
And remember, family blessings. Love them. God bless. Take care. Love yous all. Today is what date? I believe it's October 10th, 2022. Please like, share, and comment, and subscribe to my YouTube to stay updated on my videos and the information that I post. Thank you and God bless. Take care. Happy Thanksgiving.